Welcome back everybody, welcome back to Tennis Natural. Please, if you are new here, please take one quick second and go down below and subscribe. And also turn on that notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you build a basic natural hair regime. I'm going to start from cleansing to moisturizing, not from cleansing to conditioning to moisturizing to sleep and protecting your hair. So I'm going to be showing you a few products I use on my hair. This video is not sponsored. I'm not saying you should buy this product. I'm not saying you have to use them. I'm just giving you example. So guys, to be a basic natural virgin, you need to start with cleansing. Cleansing is the first step. You need to get all those bad boys out. So you need to clarify your scalp. I do not like buying store-bought um, products. So I use my own homemade products from apple cider vinegar sometimes or baking soda. Just mix it with water and use it to spray my scalp and wash it with it. And then I move on to a moisturizing shampoo. This is an example of the moisturizing shampoo I use. I use the We Natural Black Soap Shampoo. Guys, you can never go wrong with black soap. Black soap is great for black hair. And this is the product I use. You just want to be careful. You're not posting bad ingredients on your hair. So this product has no bad boys. It has no parabens, sulfate, mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, silicone. And you want to watch out for all of these bad ingredients. I'm going to put them on the screen. So this is, the, um, this is an idea of the shampoo I use. You can use any shampoo of your choice. Like I said, this is not sponsored. It is not a must you use this product. I'm just giving you example. And guys, if you can hear some noise on the background, it's my neighbors. Just ignore. So after cleansing your hair with shampoo, you need to move on to conditioning. So this is what I use to condition my hair. And when talking about conditioning, you just don't want to use any how rinse out conditioner. You also want to watch out for the bad ingredients, like I mentioned before. And you need a deep conditioning. This is a moisturizing conditioning and this is also a detangler i use this to detangle my hair and you know this is just like a deep treatment for me because it works wonders so you need a deep treatment and when i use this on my hair if you are using any deep treatment you need to add it for we the low porosity hair girl we need heat if you don't know what porosity means you can google that or if you want me to do more in-depth video on that let me know in the comment box so this is an idea of the conditioner i use you can use any conditioner of your choice just make sure it's moisturizing and deep conditioning or probably get a moisturizing conditioner and get the, get a deep conditioning and when i use this I always use this. This is my hot head. Um, is um, what would I call this? I think is this air steamer. This is what it looks like. It's an electric hair steamer. It's easy to use. You don't. Know? You just put it on your hair. It has this long um plug in i just plug it and then switch it on and boom you're good to go this works wonders and it's safe and easy to use so this is my handy dandy hair steamer so i use my hair steamer to steam in this or uh, any other treatment i'm being that requires it so you need a hair steamer or probably just get a hot head cap the one you throw inside your microwave and put it on your head or just a regular shower cap, you know, just something to trap that it in so you get the most benefit of your product. So after using a clean, um, sorry, after using a conditioning treatment, I detangle. If you like, you can detangle with your hands. I do that a lot. If you like, you can detangle with a white tooth comb. This is an example of a white tooth comb. This is what it looks like in case you don't know. I use this, I section my hair in so fast and then use this to detangle or I use this to detangle. This is really, really dirty right now. I'm serious. So this is, um, this just gives me the satisfaction that my hair has been properly detangled because, you know, um, because, you know, type 4 hair can be really matted and, you know, stubborn to detangle with your ends alone on your white tooth comb. So this does the magic. It's detangles from your roots to the hand effortlessly. If you want me to use this in any of my videos, let me know in the comments and let me know what you guys think about this. If you have this, let us know. After rinsing all that 
out you need to put moisture back into your hair because the most you've done is not enough because some of us wash our hair twice a month some of us once a week i do once a week but sometimes when i have my protective start on i can go for months without washing my hair so i need something really really good to put in moisture back into my hair so this is what i use i do the l or um the LCO method rather. If you don't know what the LOC or LCO means, it means liquid oil cream. It's a step-by-step -step way of moisturizing your hair. So I use liquid cream and oil. So this is an idea of my so this is the product I use to moisturize to spray my hair. This like a sprint. I don't know, I messed up with the cover, the spray, and I pour the contents in this into another spray bottle so it can be easier to use you know i just spray this on my head like a spritz and that is my liquid i go in with my cream this is um the living the moisturizing living by we naturals like i said i use everything from we naturals empowerment but i'm not saying you should buy this product in other words, this product is great, but it is not a must to use this. Just look for a great living condition and you will be fine. So after using that, I go in and seal everything in with my whip shea butter cream. This product is basically shea butter and it's whip. So that's it. So I use, also use this to style my hair. And you know, it's great. I use this on my street out. Street sweet house braid out and all that so after all of this after doing all of this you need to protect your hair yes it is so important you can do a twist out you can do a braid out you can do a protective style like crochet braid you can do whatever you want with your hair you can you know have fun but at the same time you need to protect your hair at night it's so so important even with your protective style or you know we still have some edges to leave out you need to protect your hair so this so to protect my hair at night i use a satin scarf either a satin scarf or a satin bonnet and sometimes i use both because you know when we sleep we really don't know what is going on so this is an idea of the satin scarf I used. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I've had this for a very long time. And you know, it's just there. Maybe I'll change it soon, I don't know. So this is an idea of what I use. You know, you just tie it on your hair. This helps, it refresh your hair. It's not, like, it maintain your style. It doesn't cause freeze and just keep everything neat. The worst thing you want to do to your hair is moisturize your hair doing all that effort and going to bed to rub your hair on your cotton bed, sheets, pillowcase, whatever. It's going to mask your hair and dry it out and you'll have to, you know, redo the step over again. So maintain your style, protect your hair with a satin scarf, bonnet or pillowcase. So that will be all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the tips very helpful please if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe also if you enjoyed this video and like it please give it a thumbs up and please put in the comment section any video idea you want me to make a video on so thank you so much for coming back i love you all i miss you and you'll be seeing me more often now Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.